Howdy. I'm the old ranger, and Death Valley's my stamping ground. Many's the tale of adventure I'm going to tell you about the Death Valley country. True stories, mind you. I can vouch for that. This story happened back in the 1880s and concerns the young fellow holding that gun, one of the slipperiest, trickiest, nerviest bandits who ever tormented a sheriff or terrorized a community. Jim. Hi, Lucy. What luck? Same as usual. A cold trail, a hot ride, and plenty of dust. Give me a tall one, sir. Tall one coming up. So the kid left you high and dry again, huh, Jim? That's right. Well, Sheriff, anything to report? Nothing, except there's an awful lot of country around here for a man to disappear in. Hmm. 35 holdups in less than four months. And you're no closer to catching him now than when you started. Can't say I'm not trying. Are you? What's that? As editor and publisher of the Darwin Dispatch, it's my business to be um, observing. And there are certain peculiar circumstances to which the council can draw only one conclusion. Well, let's hear them. Number one, the activities of the Death Valley Kid have been confined to your locality exclusively. Yes, I've noticed that. Almost seems like something personal, doesn't it? And number two, no one ever heard of him before you were made sheriff. Oh, I hadn't thought about it, but you're right. And number three, he always picks a time for his holdups when you are uh, conveniently somewhere else. You should be getting close to your conclusion, aren't you, Charlie? I am. Namely, that the Death Valley Kid and I are working together? That's it, exactly. Are you going to stand there and let them accuse you of such a thing, Jim Manning? No, Lucy. They didn't accuse me. They just drew a conclusion. Well, it amounts to the same thing. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, sure. But just denying it isn't going to change their minds. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll either catch the Death Valley kid in 30 days or turn in my badge. Does that satisfy you? Yes. Well, it don't satisfy me. I was talking to the consul, Wayne. So am I. He's just stalling for time. Why, 30 days more of what's been going on, and him and the kid will have this territory picked cleaner than the floor of Death Valley. I say take his badge away from him now and run him out. You know, Wayne, you missed an awful good chance to keep quiet. <laughs> the idea of busting up my property. You owe me three bucks for them chairs. Lawless reign of Death Valley Kid about to end. Did you hear that? That's what it says. In a report to the Darwin Town Council today, Sheriff Manning stated he would catch the Death Valley Kid within 30 days or turn in his badge. Sounds like they're putting a squeeze on the sheriff, don't it? What do you think of his chances of catching us? <laughs> Couldn't have put it better myself. Hmm, listen to this. Gold shipments from the Cerro Gordo mine will now be carried to Independence by Panamint Independent Stage Line, according to information received today. First shipment will leave Darwin next Monday the 6th. Offhand, I'd say they're being real careless to print news like that which is just what the sheriff wants me to figure. Bait me with gold and pay me off with lead. Uh, 
I can tell that he's thinking even before he thinks it. But he don't know what I'm thinking. Here's your ticket. Mm. There's the stage. Don't you worry about a thing. You just climb aboard and leave the rest to me. When we get to Independence, I'll show you where Doc Brown's place is, and he'll yank that too slicker to whistle. Where's the sheriff, Tex? He'll be here any minute, Miss Lucy. This way, ma'am. Watch that step. It's pretty high. Don't split your britches. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, madam. Did you hurt yourself? Lucy! Jim! What on earth are you made up for? The kid's funeral, I hope. But what are you doing here? I'm going to Independence to get a dress for the dance next Saturday. There's liable to be trouble. You better put it off till tomorrow. I wouldn't miss this for the world. I've got enough responsibility on my hands with this gold we're carrying. You can't ride with us. I've bought a ticket and I'm a passenger. Now shut the door and stop talking like an old woman. What's the matter with you? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to Doc Brown at Independence never two full. But you engines pulled your own teeth. Some pull. Me no pull. Doc, pull. You ready, Tex? Yes, ma'am. I'm all set. Oh, uh, turn him loose. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Is the sheriff with you? Yeah, she's... Uh, no, yeah, he's with us. Howdy, Miss Lucy. A nice cool drink of water? No, thanks. But maybe my friend would. Hey, drink, ma'am? Don't call me ma'am. Well, I'll be a flea-bitten pack rat. She's the sheriff. All dressed up for a date with the kid. Date with him? What are you gonna do? Get him in your arms and hug him to death? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead, have your fun. <laughs> I'll have mine when the kid makes his play for that gold. <laughs> Put up hand. Up. Pretty squaw. Put guns in bucket. Kid. Mm. Hey, engine kid. There you are. That's all of them. 
Not all. One more. In ugly squaws, poof. He wants it, let him get it. Me get. stage. Wait. Me like pretty squaw. Me take, so not forget. But that's a keepsake. Me keep. Next time come town, give back. my badge or I don't lose it. I'm keeping on your trail till I catch up with you. When I do, there'll be one less gun-toting skunk making free with other folks' property. You got big mouth. Make big noise. Give engine big laugh. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah! This is the road to Darwin, no? Yep, straight ahead, about four miles. Yeah, you are going that way, perhaps? Nope, I'm going the other way. Gracias, senor. Adios. No, 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 senorita. One so delicate and beautiful should not lift such a something so heavy. There, está bueno. Well, thank you. It is I, Don Francisco Hidalgo Cancino, who should thank you, senorita. For six days, I look at nothing but the greasewood and the cactus. Then, like a, a miracle, I find a rose blooming in this desolate land. Oh, I almost forgot what I come for. The sheriff lives here, no? Yes, but he's out of town right now. Oh, that is too bad. I wish to report the holdup. A holdup? See, si. I think it was these Death Valley kids I read about. Well, what happened? He come out from behind the rocks and he say, stick him up. But I do not like to stick him up. So I shoot the gun out of his hand and stick him up. You shot the gun out of his hand? See, si. Then I take his boots and run away his horse. I can't believe it. You do not think I speak the truth? Look. This I find in his pockets. It was the kid. Well, that's my watch. Your senorita? Yes. The kid stole it in the holdup only three days ago. This most fortunate coincidence. Permit me to return it to you, senorita, with my compliments. Where did this happen? In that rocky canyon where the ground is very wide. Oh. Listen to this, everybody. Death Valley kids out in White Canyon, barefoot and without a horse. Who says so? I say so, senor. A thousand dollars reward out there on the hoof. <laughs> Good luck, amigos. I hope you catch him. I appreciate your returning my watch. I wish there was something I could do to repay you. Perhaps there is, senorita. This stands. you will be there, no? Of course. Everyone will be there. It's going to be a very big event. We're raising money to build a town hall. Raising money? Oh, that is good. 
If I come, will you say the dance for me? Of course, I'd be happy to. Bueno, I will come. I don't believe that story about the kid in White Canyon. I tell you, until we get a new sheriff or that kid is behind bars, I won't put my money in the bank anymore. Here, put this in your safe. First you insult the senorita, then you ask for the favor. That is not nice, senor. It certainly isn't. You can guard your old money yourself. And I, I hope the kid takes it away from you. Your wish is my command, senorita. Misacho, please. I will put it in my safe, senor. You're the Death Valley kid. At your service, senorita. Death Valley. Hasta la vista, senorita. Until the dance, Saturday night. You'll show up. You seem to be acting rather strangely. For a law-abiding citizen, you seem to be getting a lot of enjoyment out of this. Whose side are you on, anyway? Yours, of course. But I can't help but admire his nerve and cleverness. He's nervy and clever, all right. But so is a coyote. <laughs> What makes a man become an outlaw? Well, they get a kick out of it. Makes them feel big to thumb their nose at law and society. That or they're too lazy to work. Sometimes, perhaps. But usually, I think there's more behind it than that. Could be. I don't know. My job's to catch them, not figure what makes them tick. When I catch the kid, I'll ask him for you, if he can still talk. Come for the dance, senorita. I always like the last dance best, don't you? Well, of all the nerve. Does it take nerve to keep a day with a beautiful girl? Do you realize all I have to do is raise my voice and... I don't think you will, though. You wouldn't want any of your friends to get hurt, would you? On me either, I hope. How did you get away from the sheriff? Well, I'll tell you. Yes, I didn't. Sorry, this has to end so sudden.
Well, well, aren't you going to chase him? No, nope. I've been so busy chasing him, I've quit thinking. He was a white man, wasn't he? Yes. Well, what's that got to do with it? Whitey, I know right where to look for him now. Here's a headline for you. Sheriff Manning captures Death Valley kid at daylight. Sheriff Manning? Who's safe? <laughs> breakfast. I've been pretty stupid thinking I was chasing an Indian or a Mexican. But you've been more stupid hiding out in the only canyon in these parts that has red dust to color your skin with. Stand up. Now turn around and let's have a look at you. Tom! How do I look after 10 years, Jim? Sneaky as ever. You haven't changed either. Still high and mighty. You think it's gonna make any difference finding out you're my brother? Why should it? Never made any before. What? I ain't asking for any favors from you and don't want any. You talk like you've got a grudge. You bet I have. Since when? Since as far back as I can remember. Starting with you hogging all the toys and growing from there. Anytime the folks bought anything, it was for you and... Well, they couldn't afford stuff for both of us and I was the oldest. Sure, and you hung on to it, too. Anytime I asked for the loan of it, you laughed at me. If I took it, you beat me up. And in between, you picked on me in general every time I turned around. Maybe I was selfish and ornery, but we were kids then. Those things aren't important. They are to the kid on the dirty end of it. I never thought about it that way. I thought of it plenty. Only time I got anything decent was when I stole it. Then it was on my account you ran away from home. I got such a belly full of you, I couldn't take any more. Being in the habit of stealing, you kept it up. That makes sense. It's not a very pretty picture. Looks like I helped paint it. What's done is done. It's a little late to feel sorry about it now. Only regret I got, you didn't get a bigger belly full of me. I got enough. Did you ever kill anybody? Never even tried to. Stuff you've been stealing in that cave? Most of it. You're right about it being late, but it's not too late. What's a deal? A new deal. I'm turning you loose, Tom, and we're going away together. What is this? Are you saying you'll give up your job for me? Being sheriff was only temporary anyway. What about your girl? She temporary, too? Well, she'll be better off without me. Oh, well, what do you say? I'll mail my badge in and tell them where to find this cave. Then we'll see if we can't find something we should have found a long time ago. Are you willing? I'd be a fool to say no. Then let's clean up this bacon and get out of here. Thought you'd give up your job and your girl and go away with me, huh? Well, I think different. I'm moving on alone and you're going back. Here. Take this with you. Take it with you and tell him you started out with a Death Valley kid and that's all that's left of him. But don't argue. If we did it your way, you'd be busting the law by turning me loose. And busting your girl's heart. So I don't see what she's seizing. Jim. And don't worry, I'll keep my nose clean. Oh, and Jim, when you have kids, be sure they get an even break. And from that day on, the Death Valley kid never troubled anyone again. Folks couldn't understand why the sheriff refused the reward. But marrying Lucy was the only reward he wanted.